Hi everybody, welcome to Fertility Discussions with Dr. Ankita. This video is especially to uh, explain about ovulation symptoms. We all have treatments available very easily nowadays and everybody is in a rush, everybody has jobs and everybody is working. Time is less and we want to do more and more in less and less time. We do not pay attention to the signs and symptoms that our body tells us and the same thing is with fertility also. In the entire period of 28 to 30 days of the menstrual cycle, there are six days when the woman is most fertile. Those six days where your body releases a mature egg, which can be fertilized by the sperms and can result in pregnancy. And there are many symptoms that your body hints or indicates during and the time around the release of this egg. The time, the day when this process of the release of a mature egg from the ovary takes place is known as ovulation. This ovulation, around ovulation, there are a few symptoms that I am going to be talking about today. Now this video is strictly for people who have a menstrual cycle interval of say 21 to 32 days, which means who have regular periods. People who have irregular periods, it is very difficult to pinpoint that which, where is the ovulation window because there is no particular pattern. So if your period, if the interval between two periods is 21 days to 32 days, what I am going to explain today can be used, can be implied by you. Now the first day of your period is the day when you start bleeding. From that day up to the next period, there are 28 to 30 days. The routine interval between two periods is 28 to 32 days. If you have a strictly 28 day cycle, mid cycle, which is around the 14th day of your period, your body will release an egg. If you have a 30 day cycle, somewhere around 16th day of your period, ovulation will take place. If you have a 32 day cycle, somewhere around 18th day of your period, the ovulation will take place. Till you get your next period, it is difficult to say that whether this was a 30 day cycle, a 32 day cycle or a 28 day cycle. So to be on the safer side, we take 6 days starting from day 11th of your period up to day 16th of your period as the most fertile days of your period. What are these ovulation signs we are talking about? Cervical mucus. Cervix is the mouth of the uterus and it produces mucus. At different stages in your life, at different stages in your period cycle, this mucus is of different type. Immediately after your periods, the mucus is dry. Somewhere around ovulation, this mucus becomes like an egg white. The consistency, the thickness, if you hold the mucus, if you feel the mucus in between your fingers, it is slippery. If you try and stretch it, it stretches and makes a string. All these changes are because of the hormonal changes which are happening in your body right now which will lead up to ovulation. So cervical mucus changes happen around 2-3 to three days of your ovulation. If you, How do you observe this cervical mucus? You can observe it on your underpants right before passing urine or before using the washroom. You can wipe yourself with a plain tissue and see if there is any discharge or any mucus on the tissue and observe the nature. Or you can just introduce two fingers inside and around the vagina and see how the discharge is at that point in time. The second most common symptom is ovulation bleeding. Around 20 to 30 percent of women have mid-cycle bleeding which is more or less like spotting. It is not like your period bleeding. You will not soak one or two pads. It is just slight spotting. The blood is not bright red in color. It is maroonish, darkish brown and of thicker consistency. Ovulation bleeding sometimes happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. For some patients, it can develop later in their life. If you are experiencing spotting between mid-cycle, between day 11 to 15, 11 to 16 of your periods, and otherwise you have absolutely no bleeding problem, no history of irregular menses, this can be considered as ovulation bleeding. Another common symptom is ovulation cramping. We usually dismiss it thinking that it must be some or the other pain which is not really significant. But if you do observe your body in a very close manner and if you do feel that around day 13, 14, 15 you have a distinct dull aching pain in either side of your tummy then it is ovulation pain. Mostly it is associated on the side for which, for which side the ovary is ovulating in that particular cycle. 
another way to predict these are secondary symptoms these might happen these might not happen these are not very specific symptoms there is breast tenderness because of water retention that happens there is slight amount of tenderness slight amount of pain in your breasts there could be bloating there could be lower abdominal pain you have a glow on your skin you have a heightened sense of smell you have a heightened sense of taste now these signs and symptoms are very mild they are minor they might happen they might not happen two very important symptoms that always happen in majority patients during and around ovulation one is basal body temperature right before your ovulation the body temperature takes a dip by 0.2 to 0.5 degrees and then after of your ovulation it goes up by 0.5 to 1 degrees the problem with this method is you need to be very very observant it takes 2 to 3 cycles for you to see the dip and the rise in the temperature in your body you have to observe this you have to take your temperature every day in the morning before you get out of bed and you have to chart it So in this current period cycle you will not be able to use it as a marker of ovulation and your fertile period because it happens after the ovulation has already taken place but it can help you get an idea that on this particular day of your cycle this rise in temperature is seen so 3 or 4 days before that are your most fertile period and the most important and the most widely used is ovulation predictor kits on these kits we measure a hormone lh luteinizing hormone which is present in your urine in our physiology of the body lh rises 42 somewhere around 48 hours before ovulation takes place we start doing these lh predictor kits from day 11 of your periods and the day this lh predictor kit comes positive where you get two pink lines from that day till next 6 days are the most fertile days of your entire period cycle now in some rare cases the kit might be invalid where not even a single pink line comes or in the entire week where you are doing ovulation predictor kit test none of the test might come positive in such a situation if the if around day 14 15th of your period the predictor kit test comes negative you have to visit your doctor and go for an ultrasound where your doctor can see is there a presence of a dominant follicle with the help of sonography so this was all about ovulation signs and symptoms in your body using this knowledge of signs and symptoms that your body is trying to tell you that you are the most fertile how to plan an ovulation calendar is what the next video is going to be about hope this was informative if there are any questions you can book an online consultation with us the details of which will be at the end of this video thank you for your time have a good day bye bye